as a general practitioner, I have a lot of different stethoscopes. And really the best stethoscope is one that produces really clear sounds and can help me to identify any heart murmurs, lung sounds and bowel sounds as well. So I'm excited to be checking out the MDF Pro Cardial Stethoscope, which is the one that I have around my neck right now, and just seeing what it looks like, how it feels, and more importantly, how does it sound? And I'll be taking you guys with me along for the ride. So right here I've got the MDF Pro Cardial Cardiology Stainless Steel Stethoscope. Now this is aimed at those who are more interested in cardiology, perhaps they want to have listened to heart sounds, etc. But it could also be useful for medical students or even general practitioners who need to listen to heart sounds on a regular basis. So just looking at the aesthetics of the stethoscope, so it does actually come across as being a little bit more heavier than say my Lippmann Classic 3, which is a general diagnostic stethoscope. So this one is primarily for cardiology. And the reason why it's a little bit more weightier is because of this chest piece. Now this is quite a hefty chest piece and actually it feels quite nice it being quite heavy because I feel like it might give me some good amplified sounds but of course you and I will be the judge of that very shortly. The other thing about the chest piece is currently it is affixed with the adult chest piece and you can actually unscrew it and if your stethoscope comes with this, it does come with a pediatric chest piece as well. So if you are, say, a general practitioner or a cardiologist and you need to listen to a pediatric heart sound, then you can just switch it over and alternately use it with just an adult chest piece if that is your situation. So that is quite fun and it is quite nice. It gives you that kind of flexibility, I suppose. Although I'm not sure about practically if I would actually carry around different chest pieces with me in my bag, I might end up losing them. But you could still nonetheless use this chest piece for a paediatric heart. You may not get as good a sounds perhaps if you were just using the paediatric chest piece, but certainly I'm sure this would work also for paediatrics as well. Now looking at the chest piece in some more detail, you can see the diaphragm is quite large and it also has a really deep bell. And the idea of the deep bell is to actually amplify those sounds a lot more clearer. So I'm excited to find out how this does. And I'll be doing a series of videos actually where I compare this to the Lippmann Classic 4. And I'll be doing another video where I compare this with the Lippmann Classic 3. So you guys can just see exactly which one has the clearest heart sounds and which one would be better for you in terms of your own practice. Like with any stethoscope, the way that you can activate the bell on the diaphragm is just by turning it. And there is a little green dot there that tells you which side is activated. So that's really important and useful when you are examining your patients. Then moving on from there, you've got this big tubing. It's a lot thicker than say, for example, the MD1 stethoscope where the tubing is a lot thinner. And as our literature says, it's because they want you to not lose any sounds as you are listening through your earpieces. So I'm excited to find out exactly how well that does. It feels a lot more sturdier than the MD1, which feels a lot more looser, let's say. And now just look at the earpieces, they are clear. So that's really important for hygiene purposes because when you've got, say for example, Lippmann, they have got gray ear tips. And <laughs> once I did I think I've told you guys before this story, but once I did forget my stethoscope on a busy ward round and I picked up my colleague's stethoscope and I was very young and I looked inside it and there was just, it was just filled with earwax. And I thought, nope, I'm not doing this at all. So the fact that this is nice and clear, you can see inside it to make sure that there is no earwax there. It looks hygienic and you know that you're not going to pick up any nasty things from somebody else. So yeah, I like, I like the clear tips. They are very useful. And now putting it into my ears, we'll see how it feels like. There is a bit of a twist with this uh, stethoscope and this did actually happen to me on the MD1 as well. I think it does readjust with time and it's probably just because it's out of the box, um, but slowly but surely it does readjust with time and it fits into your ears quite nicely. So how does it look? What do you guys think? So this is it with it around my ears. And then if you wear your stethoscope on your neck, for example, like this. This is how it looks like. And then certainly if you are sort of a, like me, if you put your stethoscope around your neck like this, this is what it looks like. It does feel a bit weightier on the chest piece side. So I feel like if you are walking through corridors or ward rounds, it might start to sort of slip down, which often does happen with all stethoscopes, to be honest with you. So you might have to readjust it every so often. In terms of its length, it is a little bit longer than say your average stethoscope, which is not exactly a bad thing because sometimes if you are in a ward round or if you're in close contact with a patient, you don't necessarily want to be breathing in their air. So it gives you a bit of personal space. So far, I am quite impressed with the MDF Pro Cardio stethoscope. It does look a bit more heavy duty. It sort of reminds me of the Lippmann Cardiology stethoscope, um, where when I was a medical student, lots of the consultants would have that and it looked really expensive. And I always thought to myself, oh my gosh, when I grow up, I might want to get that stethoscope. But it was always a little bit too expensive. So this is actually a nice budget entry level um, cardiology stethoscope. Of course, we'll see how it compares very soon and we'll see how it sounds like. But certainly, looks wise it looks like it's going to do some really good work with those heart sounds comparing it to the md1 stethoscope which i reviewed previously 
it is a bit heavier and it also just feels a bit more durable as well. However, in saying this, the MD1 Surfscope was actually quite good in terms of its heart sounds and comparing it to the Lippmann Classic 3, a lot of you actually thought this did better. So that is quite interesting. Now, it's the moment you have all been waiting for, which is to see exactly how this sounds like on the heart. My first experiment is just to let you guys listen to the heart sounds with the procardial stethoscope. And in a follow-up video, I'll be showing with you guys what the procardial sounds like versus the Lippmann cardiology stethoscope. And also, just for fun, I'll be doing another comparison between the procardial versus the Lippmann Classic 3. Because let's face it, if you're gonna buy a stethoscope, buy the best one. So we're gonna find out which one does better in real life. But for now, it is time to have listen to the heart sounds. So first up, we're going to activate the diaphragm of the stethoscope, which is this nice flat area here, which is quite large. And that's to help me to listen to any high frequency sounds. So let's get that going. It's nice. I like it. It's very clear. There's not a lot of background noise as well. Obviously, I'm in a quiet room at the moment, but I can't hear anything major happening in the background. Um, the, the sounds are quite nice. They're amplified clearly, and I do hear the heart sounds very clear. So now let's take a listen to the heart sound with the bell of the stethoscope. So let's switch it over and pop it on and have a listen. Just for good measure, I'm just going to compare it with the MD1. I know they're completely different stethoscopes, but I just want to give you guys an idea of what they sound like in comparison with one another. It's interesting because with the procardial, I do think that the sound is actually clearer and that might be thanks to its thicker tubing. Whereas with the MD1, it is a bit quieter. It's still good, don't get me wrong, it's still good. You still can hear the heart sounds, but it's not as loud perhaps, not as amplified as the procardial. So if you're thinking of getting one versus the other, well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but I might suggest maybe going for something like this because it's just better investment perhaps, but I would love to know what you guys think. Let's take a listen again to the procardial and we'll do the MD1 and you guys let me know in the comment section below which one you think is clearer. That's the procardial and MD1. Wow, I think there is a bit of a difference there, which is really interesting, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So there you have it guys, that is the Procardial Stethoscope by MDF, and I've got to say I am pleasantly surprised by it. I'll be interested to find out how it compares with the Lippmann Cardiology Stethoscope and also with the Lippmann Classic 3. So stay tuned for those videos. And of course, I hope you guys have found this video useful and if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to drop me a line in the comment section below and I'll see you on the next one. Take care and stay healthy.